Okay, that was a nice warm up. Um, so now let's start with Frightline and then um, let's start with Match explaining loss. some of the stuff. Yeah. So, first of all, uh, I see that we are in public because uh, so you didn't make it uh, friends only or even uh, uh, invite only or something like that. Um, that's all right. Uh, up on that is all right unless there is some person that wants to join um, and then the, well the, this will be kind of problematic but anyway should i cancel it no 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 that's uh, that's okay but anyway uh, so now nobody shoots except me and this is because when I am shooting, I want to I want to stress something out. Uh, actually, a couple things. So first of all, how do you even um, orientate yourself here? So first of all, you can search for your opponents not only by just looking for them, just bullet jumping and yada yada yada, but also looking at your minimap. So when I am shooting right now, I am highlighted at minimap. Um, I believe that Banshee doesn't trigger this effect to happen. So Banshee has kind of like this passive that they, she isn't seen on the minimap. But wherever I am shooting, regardless of what uh, what is uh, what am I doing, where I am, I think you can see me on the minimap. Is that true? Yes. So yes. Uh, wait, um, I've got one question. Yep. What about um? Melee slams, like does that show your position? Melee are power? silent. You can actually, you can actually see this. Oh, hey, there, there, there it goes. The Ox system has a sni. No, sorry, that is Vulcar, right? Yeah, that is Vulcar. So he has a Banshee with Vulcar. So when he shoots, we do not see him, even if he shoots. So as you can see on the minimap. He, uh, he's completely silent. Um, anyway, but when I am shooting, regardless of which, with whether it is Lato or Braton, um, uh, I am seen on the map, on the minimap, and I will be using it now to show you the way around on this particular map right now. So let's get started. Um, there are four spots with uh, ammunition. Um, some of them I remember just by, you know, playing a lot. Some of them I do not uh, use that frequently. So, for example, this one. This one is uh, one of the spots. So, it is here. If you want the minimap location, then I am shooting. You can approach the minimap location. Uh, there are two at the very ends of the map. So, one is here, as you can see. Um, one is here so this this spot on the minimap uh, I can I can show you and there is also one at the very um, at the very end of the map here there are three free ammo boxes I consumed one uh, mm. so so this is uh, where okay, you are re reloading the same true is for energy orbs uh, and their spawners and the health orbs and their spawners so as you if you will come here so there is one energy orb and if you stay where i am and look at in this direction then you can see the health orb here um you can see the health orb here as well so this is down down there where there was um when there was this ammo box set mm -hmm. Uh, there is one uh, energy orb here at the at the top of the uh, at the top of this uh, of this tower. The uh, another one is at the top of the second tower that is on the other side of the map. There is an energy uh, spawner. Question: what's, what's the name of this map? Again? What's the name of this map? The name of this map: a fright line. Fright line. There are, I think, eight maps, but there is one extra map, or no, ex actually, there are two extra maps that you, the only chance 
of playing at them is where when you are the host and when it is the first map of the rotation. So you have to start the game literally to have a chance on, to play on it. Otherwise, it is not possible. Uh, because it's uh, then it, I just don't know why it is true. Um, this is some sort of a weird um, DE coding stuff, you know, bullshit. So don't ask me <laughs> about this, basically. But one of it is, I think, uh, one of the rooms that uh, is from the new kind of refurbished uh, corpus tile set. And it was repurposed into the uh, kind of like a conclave map. And the other one is just core. The, the, there is a map that is called core and it is kind of like a reworked map. Um, but don't, uh, don't count on hopping into it anytime soon because as I said, uh, in public we are mainly playing on the hosted servers so if the hosted server restarts then it it will be probably a chance but when the server uh, went through many cycles of the maps uh, then it's it's pretty Th there is no chance basically there is no chance so again there is one uh, health orb as well uh, and also i think oh yeah there is one more spot with ammo boxes so it is right here so if you will follow me there it is actually there are three ammo boxes the lead has been taken. yeah rng has the first map on player hosted games yes this is this is the best chance that you can get at uh, basically joining the new map uh, that has been added to the game Anyway, so uh, we have talked about basic stuff, what is around the map and what is not. Um, so let's now imagine yourself. Uh, let's now start with just some theory. Imagine yourself that you are here and you are fighting someone. Um, there are actually uh, some spots that are preferred by the players. And there are some spots that are not preferred. So there are like kind of like a hot spots and cold spots. Um, this area right here is the hot spot. As you probably can imagine, everyone just scatters in the middle of the map. This is basically that. And the middle of the map is pretty uh, pretty hot. Um, the other one are this tower. This tower, not exactly that one tower that on the other side of the map, but this one tower is pretty occupied. Um, as you can see, there is a very accessible ammo, ammo box right here. It is pretty occupied. Players do come there often and then fight starts here often. Um, and then they escape in, in, um, well, basically two directions because they rarely use those, uh, those corridors here with those kind of like events, uh, or, or kind of like a, a gaps uh, they either go here downstairs uh, because there is vent and they can like go near the near these containers they have a electric pool near uh, near the location right so so they feel safe um, and the other one is let me respawn of course and the other one is um, right there. So they all uh, they follow this path. So near this near this con near this box, and they go into the middle of the map basically. So this is this is how uh, players go around uh, go around here. It's obvious that they, like you are seen from every single spot on the uh, on the map. You are seen from this tower right there. Uh, where I showed you an energy uh, orb, you are seen from basically everywhere uh, here, and this is why it is be it is hot. Um, there is there are also free ammo boxes here, which is pretty tempting. Uh, so this is where actually people kind of meet and shoot themselves, uh, shoot at each other. 
And what they usually do is also escape here from into this container. Uh, they will follow this container and they are again in the middle of the map. So this is basically how they how peop how things work in here. Uh, in terms of locations where the players go. Uh, why do I tell you this? Because as a new player, uh, the best play style that you can play is kind of opportunist. So see uh, or look at the map from those colder spots. So for example, those uh, uh, from the from those two fright lines uh, that are above uh, that are above the map. You get good control over the map. You can see wherever uh, the the danger is, wherever the potential uh, potential um, target is. Let's let's rematch. Re let's rematch. I will. I, let's rematch so that we can actually uh, get some get more time on this map so that I can visual the, uh, visualize the concept basically. So you can switch loadouts. Well, I I prefer that you will stay at Bratton, but anyway. Yeah. So, again. So uh, let's gather in the middle of the map. So I am shooting. You see me at the mini map. Uh, so now, um, what you can do is just look at those colder, uh, colder spots on the map. Where are the colder spots? Uh, wherever else. So, for example, these are those two big ass rails that are spanning the whole map. So, for example, here. If you do not know, okay, you know, all, you all know how to get there. Okay, that's that's good. Um, so, you can get a very good overview of where the map. Um, I told you that this is a colder spot uh, because. Well, it's hard to tell actually why this why this spot is actually called there. They kind of look outside of this balcony most of the time. Um, but anyway, uh, where where is also a cold spot? Um, if you come here, where I am right now, above, uh, then there is uh, there is this area that is hidden. On, the, on my left, right? So there is like entire area that is unused and you can hide here uh, if you want to, you know, um, not be seen or if you want to grab this health, uh, health orb that is right here, you can actually descend from over here and then quick bullet jump. Uh, near this, uh, near this health orb spot, and then come back into the middle of the map where the fun, uh, where the fun starts. Um, so, uh, so this is how, uh, so this is how you can utilize this. Uh, you can pick people off with different weapons. One of the main, uh, one of the main. Oh, there, there it is. There it is. Uh, a public game in the nutshell. So, uh, so basically, what you can people, uh, what you can pick people. Uh, yeah, I think the reset will be better uh, because we want, uh, you know, we want wait for. We we are basically a bunch of weird people that are now staying on the. Uh, in the same spot, and this is a public match, so we are re requested to, you know, uh, play like others. So let's just go back and uh, let him let him win. Wait, like, do we leave? Yeah, yeah, yeah. L let's remake the session. Uh, let's reset and uh, let's get into the private match. This is basically what I'm saying. Uh, Deoxy. 
Uh, did you invite him? Because session can only be joined by invitation from the host. This is what I get. I cannot invite him. Um, yeah, he invite. He's been invited. He's in the lobby. You can like tab. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh wait. Okay. So there is another one catch. Um, my chat window did not refresh, and this is what you can uh, observe as new people. Uh, enter and this is what I un unfortunately uh, what was uh, ah never mind then uh, okay so let's let's get started with this so here um, hotspots are pretty di are a little bit different and there aren't as many hotspots. Uh, many times you will see that uh, people will fight in this hall, but they will see if someone through glass, so they will uh, they will come up and fight in this little corridor that now I am shooting at. Um, then they will then they will come up here uh, from this corridor, uh, and then they will uh, jump into the center of the map. Uh, you can also jump down there. There are a lot of places that potentially could result in a fight, but a little bit hotter are those uh, are the ends of the map and the corridors on uh, on the right side and the left side, as well as uh, the main hub and the uh, this upper this upper uh, section, this upper middle section. Nobody really goes through there, so nobody really jumps down and uh, gets into there like that. Uh, people rarely cross this uh, bottom corridor that I am here, that I am right now at. So there are definitely some possibilities to for you to to hide in and pick off some targets, but here it isn't that much. Of an efficient strategy. Anyway, let's take, uh, let's get started with one thing. So, I, what I want you to look at is, uh, since we are started, we are gathered here. We are, uh, we have everything sorted out with with setting up and all of that stuff with with inviting. Uh, I want you to look at your sensitivity because. This is something that will impact your accuracy and impact your comfort. Um, what I have in my at my settings is something that results in about 25 centimeters of movement per entire camera um, swing. Let's say cam entire camera rotation around me. Um, I have 0, 0, 0 at look sensitivity, aim sensitivity, and aim sensitivity scoped. I have 800 DPI, and since Warframe is very bad game, actually, in the sensitivity things, field of view also affects your sensitivity. I have it on 82. Um, 82, I think it is pretty decent. It gives a pretty decent field of what you can expect from uh, any, from many angles. Uh, it's pretty good, uh, let's say, it's pretty good trade-off. What I mean by those 25 centimeter per, per camera revolution. Basically what I mean is that when I am moving my mouse on my mouse pad, I have to move my mouse on my mouse pad, 25 centimeters for a, a, for a full rotation. A chances are that if you have 50, 50, 50, so the basic settings, the the basic settings, the options that are basically the defaults, uh, you have way higher, way too high uh, sensitivity. And what you can uh, do is, I will actually present it to you that my aim becomes way way choppier and actually what happens uh, we can we can do whichever you like uh, basically we can do fright line we can do gasworks again 
Match lost. Uh, but what I am, uh, what I'm trying to tell you is that sensitivity. If if you set it too high, you lose precision. Even though lower sensitivity, you might think, hey, why lower sensitivity? We are moving so fast. We are, you know, jumpy, jumpy, um, ninjas, uh, and all that. It, trust me, it actually matters because uh, of one thing, which is that you lose control, you lose this fine tuning of your aiming. So I will switch now on my screen. I will switch to 50, 50, 50, or some close to number to it. And you will see that actually uh, my aim snaps to certain positions. Mouse snaps to points on the grid, basically. Points on the grid. And when I am moving right now, my 25 centimeters that I had previously, then I will result in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spins. Eight spins for for 25 centimeters or even less. So I basically have 10 times less sensitivity than on default mode. This is my sensitivity that I, that I play on. Oh, handshakes don't work. <laughs> um, anyway, what I mean by that is that I uh, stay right there, stay right there. So stay here, right? Stay, stay right there. What I can do with lower sensitivity is, for example, I can fine tune, I can precisely aim at you even at these larger distances. For example, I am aiming at the head of Cursed Comrade right now, right? And I have very, very, even if my hand shakes, right? I have very fine control. I do not move my mouse away from him, right? And I can headshot him one after another. Uh, one bullet after another and with the 50 50 50 setting I wouldn't be able to do that and my hand shakiness would be, would basically throw me off and I will burn my entire magazine into the wall what I am trying to do as well is to the second thing that I am trying to do is since I have low pre, low uh, sorry not, not not exactly low precision but low a sensitivity uh, what you get is also smooth movement of the mouse it's not erratic it's very controlled it feels very nice it is pleasant to eyes so uh, even if you cannot for example do as low as me so those 25 centimeters you can use uh, websites to to measure how what your settings are you just basically input them uh, into this uh, into the website website is uh, mouse dash sense uh, you can uh, uh, pop into this website uh, there is a sensitivity calculator you choose warframe so you choose right here wait a second uh, you choose the game first, uh, select game, you, you type in Warframe, uh, you type your sensitivity in game, so in my case it is zero, and you convert it to some other type. So for example, I will convert it to Kovax, uh, which is uh, the aim training program that helps you, uh, that helps you get some good, uh, let's say, uh, it basically helps you get so, some really good habits uh, going on and then when I fill up uh, when I will fill the form uh, so convert from Warframe there is my DPI 800 there's my FOV 82 my sensitivity is zero I will get the output that actually my free 360 distance is 10 inches coming back to the game uh, I have it on tape so you will see it on the video this is what my settings are this is the arguments that are basically uh, pro this types of movement if you cannot do the if you cannot do this much then at least try to lower your sensitivity by very good mar but very by very high margin let's say two times so go from one centimeter because this will be pretty much a one centimeter 
this is the 50 50 50 setting um try to go let's say to 10 centimeters and see how it works out uh, then go lower then go a little bit lower again and with those steps uh, you will see that you will get much more much more pleasant output um speaking of aiming there are also some techniques that we use to aim so for example you when you think about it when when you think about aiming you might come to, to very obvious conclusion that you aim with mouse right so you move your mouse hey my reticle moves uh, but there, this is also only one side to the one side of the problem because many times your movement will affect how you aim so for example you i i am moving to my uh, to my left side to my right side during this i have to compensate for this fact so for example to now um to now keep uh, the track of a cursed comrade right i have to keep moving my mouse left or right counter uh, to counter the movement when i am moving upwards i have to move downwards and so on uh, knowing this you can also uh, come to conclusion that there is sometimes uh, there are sometimes situations that you also do not need to move your mouse you can move your character instead so for example if i am now ads so aim down sides if i am pressing my right mouse button uh, what i can do is instead of move your mouse on the target and track with my mouse what i can do is i can strafe left and right so i can move right i can move left and i can align my position like that and you will see times by times and times again that if you go to a stream, for example, Guanox, uh, he is a streamer, uh, a concrete streamer, you will see that sometimes he utilizes it. Or for example, when he falls down, he waits for his reticle to meet the target. He doesn't, uh, he doesn't do this with, with his mouse. He doesn't force the mouse movement. He actually waits for some time to to allow to for the mouse to align at the target at the headshot whatever you want basically you can use it and knowing this hopefully it will improve how you approach the aiming and so on because this is kind of uh, you you can use it anywhere this knowledge is usable anywhere no matter if you are playing this game or let's say battlefield 5 or let's say i don't know um, split gate or whatever FPS game you might uh, play this this knowledge is kind of um, Universal across the FPS genre and even TPS like this. This is third-person shooter TPS So yeah, th this is this is pretty important um, Anyway, so uh, trying to try to incorporate this into into your uh, into your playstyle. What we can do now is uh, to play a lot, uh, to play around for a couple of minutes with this. Do not jump very high. Do not aim right. Just uh, try to, for example, do this. Do this AD AD. Use this knowledge to your advantage. Um, for example, right here. So I can stop moving my mouse and then instead I can move my uh, move my character right and try to shoot when your cursor turns red uh, this is the feedback that you see uh, that your your uh, reticle is aligned with the target so try to do this try to try to align with the target try to time it then try to for example do this with your mouse then try to mix the both because in the real situation there will there won't be a clear like okay i have to strafe now or okay, I have to move my mouse and only my mouse. No, this will be a mix of this. I will I will maybe jump to to dodge the bullet. I will maybe I don't know aim glide a little bit, right? So try to try to be a little bit aware of it, but do not uh, overthink it. It will come with time. But I wanted to I wanted to point it out so you can so you know it. Uh, and so you can, for example, use, to, use it to your advantage. Use it when you duel people uh, from, let's say, door to door. 
because this is the example that shows it the most. So uh, when you do when you duel someone from one door to another door, you cannot jump because there is a door frame. You will hit you will hit it. There is uh, a ceiling very low. Uh, uh, walls on your on your right on your left. Mm, it is good to it is good to realize this because uh, there are actually situations in game that that you can use it to your advantage. Uh, so now let's let's poke let's poke around with this idea. Um, let's uh, let's spar a little bit. Let's shoot each other. But as I say, do not use any crazy movement. Like do not use those fancy, you know, this. Uh, uh, wall jumps and so on. Just try to strafe and then try to get used to it. Try to get used to it. Rolling is okay. Rolling is okay. Um, this is a little bit. This this is still on the ground. So try to, for example, what you can try with rolling is try when you roll, try to instantly snap onto the target or try to be aware of it, and then. Try to counteract it consciously, consciously. So I am rolling. Okay, I have to instantly move my mouse to counter this. So how do I how do I move my mouse? How do I move my mouse? Try to make it make a little bit better connection with your left hand and right hand, basically. So my right hand says uh, says I'm moving left. Okay, my mouse says I'm moving right and so on, to counter the movement. Basically. That's good, that's good. That's good, that's nice. That's nice. Roll after each shot. This is something that people do um, uh, with semi-rifles and uh, with semi-automatic weapons, so if you have to shoot and wait for uh, for a fire rate uh, and you have to click the click the mouse button again I saw you with arrows stick into into your back, Elicus. That's just the life of a turn now. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I finally paid back. Uh, well, oh, uh, oh, okay, that was great. That was good. That was good. Open. Tips on one arrow. Okay, let's let's do this for like a minute. Um, if you will feel more comfortable, uh, then say it out loud, and we can uh, uh, do a one further step in this. Okay, great, great one. Okay, so. Uh, we had fun with this. Uh, I hope you got used to it a, lit a little bit. Okay. Let's gather up uh, right in the middle. You can see me shooting in the middle of the arena. So now what we can do is to increase our evasiveness. How to do this? Uh, yeah, <laughs> imagine this. Oh my god, dude. Uh, so how you can do this? Uh, there are basically a couple things that you have to know. Uh, first of all, it is fast strafes. What is fast strafe? Uh, not exactly something that uh, involves very high speeds, but this also can be pretty decent countermeasure. But what I mean by fast strafes is something that comes from the aimers community so that specialize and want their aim to get better 
and fast straight scenarios concentrate on very frequent switching of directions. So, for example, that I am basically very fast at switching directions, switching my momentum, stopping in the middle, maybe I am doing something like this. Maybe I am entering this arena. Oh, okay. Doors won't open. So this is very fast. So this is fast strafe pattern. Um, it doesn't exactly mean that you have to go like up and down. You can go left, uh, left and right as well. Uh, basically, it means that you frequently switch the directions. Um, AD, AD, so strafing like that. Strafing left, right, left, right, doesn't exactly help you because you have this, uh, you have this um, kind of like you you are on ice. So what my what I mean by that is that take a note on how when you are strafing left and right, you kind of reduce your uh, your movement uh, a little bit. One you kind of remains. strafe then decelerate so you reduce your uh, reduce your movement speed then accelerate in the in the direction and decelerate so this slows you down and in fact when you are doing this so this is fast ad ad in other games the acceleration would be instantaneous you would instantly uh, strafe left uh, strafe right um, but here you have this you have this delay and it remain. makes you pretty much stationary this is not something that is desired so what you can do instead is for example jump on the wall you see when I am jumping off the wall I am actually accelerated pretty much instantly so away. this is something that helps um, what also helps Five, is doing something four, like this three, so two, um, Bullet jump into the wall and out of the wall uh, and jumping off of it. So I bullet jump into the wall and then when I am close to it, I jump backwards and then I regain, uh, I regain bullet jump and the cycle continues. I, I, I cycle through, I am very fast in this because this is like uh, in, out, in, out, in, out, into wall, out of the wall, into, into wall, out of the wall. And you get this, uh, and you get your top speed instantly, not like with the AD AD strafing pattern when you are slow, when you are basically stationary. Um, so this is one thing: fast strafes, which means fast changes of direction. Um, the other thing, is what what people hate, are verticality. So. When you are playing, like, like, like let's say Battlefield, let's say this this game, this new game, uh, Split Gate, let's say I don't know Quake Champions, whatever, just pick your game. Most of the time, you will find yourself aiming horizontally, so from from left to right. You you see somewhere that is, uh, let's say, let's cut her up. I'm here. I'm shooting. I'm on the minimap. So what you will see, I, I will go there. Do, stay, stay at that point. Stay at that point. I will go. I will go here. So, what you will see that is that here, I am. I am aiming horizontally. I am aiming left, right, but not exactly up and down. But in Warframe, you have this ability to just jump over the head of your enemy, just go right above them. I just confuse the shit out of them. It is really good to um, uh, to deceive your opponent because it is something that most players are not familiar with. This is something that players are not familiar with. They do not practice it, uh, be and most game doesn't even feature this. To, uh, doesn't even feature this. Those are two main things that people hate: verticality and fast. Uh, and fast strafe pattern. If you combine the two, you can only imagine how you can, uh, what you can do. Um, 
Uh, one of the Warframes actually has, has a very neat passive that can abuse it really well. And it is Chroma. He has a second bullet jump in the air. So in so when you are touch when you touch something, uh, regardless whether it is uh, where regardless where whether it is uh, landing on the floor, whether it is I don't know jumping off of the pillar or off of the wall or something, you get two bullet jumps. And imagine you can just bullet jump and bullet jump downwards. Let's say now I cannot actually show this to you because I have Gara. Um, but you can only imagine that this will be extremely annoying for other players. Um, so, so this is something that you can abuse to kind of dodge, uh, dodge people that are even more experienced people. Um, so yeah, so so this is what you can do. Um, let's draw out Lato because I want to talk about Semi. Uh, semi rivals and um, Lato can act as a light semi in to some extent. Let's grab ammunition and I will meet you on the outside. So now what I want you to do is to is to get one thing that okay we 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 took out Bratton we had some fun. Uh, Bratton you can do you can shoot Bratton in, in like dump entire clip regardless if your uh, crosshair aligns with the target or not uh, you can kind of like do a a burst so for example I shoot three, three bullets I shoot three bullets I shoot five bullets Sometimes I shoot one bullet. Uh, basically, whenever I uh, I see an opportunity and I see that I let's say I am sure that I will aim at the at the person. But with uh, but with semi uh, but with semi rifles, that's not that's quite not an option. So what you can do to alleviate this problem? Semi rifles have decent damage way more damage than uh, than let's say automatic ones but uh, you have to click you, you have to click them to not waste your ammunition try to think of where you shoot so for example instead of just rushing into the target like maybe you maybe you do a couple of shots maybe you don't then try to for example slowly approach him with your reticle and then shoot once shoot twice Shoot three, uh, shoot three times. Try to be kind of reserved, and even if Lato is very, uh, very low damage se semi-automatic uh, pistol, try to get into this habit because when you switch into things like let's say snipes from Vandal, uh, you will deal way more damage, and this will scale. So. Uh, so try to shoot when you are sure you are at the target. Uh, so what we can do now is we can do the same thing as we did before uh, with sparring. But now try to be conser conservative with your aim, uh, with your aiming, and try to single shot where you are sure that you have the target. Um, you can do more dodges now. Uh, this will be a, a little bit harder, but you will see why the ammo conservation here matters. That was good. Now a good one. So think of the shots. I will show you later on a clip of Guanox. One with when he does, uh, does think of where he shots, and one when he doesn't.
Oh, that was good. Try to not stay stationary, Dioxy. Jump into s Let's jump into fright line. Match lost. Also, about the lag, we are not doing any critical stuff uh, that requires, I don't know, huge amount of, um, uh, let's say, reactivity or something. No, I was just making fun of it early because I got stuck in the, what is it called, the respawn screen. Stop yeah, I, I wanted you to host so that, you know, it won't happen, so there won't be any situations like I had before, these connections. But hey, it's, it's, what, it's what we have, it's, it's peer to peer, we can't really do anything about it. Yeah, that, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so now... Let me show you, with, with this match, let me show you a couple quirks. Because, okay, I can put you, put all the knowledge in the world in, into your head. Uh, you can improve the aiming and so on, uh, all the time. But, if you do not know some of the quirks, you might die. Uh, and you might not even know why it happened. So, first of all, uh, probably not all of you realize that you can actually kick people in the middle, in the middle of the flight. So now, uh, what you can do, yeah, basically. <laughs> and as you can see, there is no weapon even. There, there isn't even a weapon uh, show. Oh, <laughs> I killed someone. Okay, nice. So... Uh, this damage, that the damage that a kick does, scales off with uh, with your melee weapon. If you have a weapon that does more damage, kick will deal more damage. Um, kick is purely impact, so if you happen to deal damage uh, directly to health, it will be fairly reduced. Uh, but anyway, it is very nice to sometimes deal this this impact damage because look i have 145 shields can somebody kick me one person one person now i have eight now i have eight and all it took it was one kick so how much did it deal like 137 damage 137 impact damage uh, well, okay, maybe, sorry, not impact damage, but, uh, yeah, impact is naturally strong versus shield, that's uh, that's what I wanted to, sh to tell you. Uh, so, uh, of course, it is less, but it is scaled by the damage type, so you get the idea. Um, however, um, the, same, uh, the same true is with bullet jumps, so if I will bullet jump near somebody, I can actually sometimes deal the de deal damage as well. Deal damage as well. You can see it in PvE sometimes when you bullet jump near Greenier or Corpus or whatever. Um, it's sometimes the target, sometimes the enemy will just die, uh, and it is the it is basically the same principle. Okay, so with that, that one out of the way, now let me introduce you to another quirk. Sorry, how do you kick? How do you kick? How do you kick? Do you so, kick? Basically, yeah. so basically, when you jump, you start to aim glide with right mouse button, and then you press crouch. 
And as you can see, my uh, my Warframe extends his front feet. Uh, his, his feet into front, and I can deal damage like that. If you keep if you keep uh, if you keep aim gliding and sliding, then you will deal the damage. Um, okay, it's a backflip, is it? Again, sorry. Looks like a backflip when I do it. Like a somersault, you know? I'm not guessing it. You Actually, can... I play on controller, so... Oh, okay. Yeah. So that will be pretty pretty much different uh, for you. But anyway, you can ED block this, uh, but that's, that's the only thing that is uh, pretty much a quirk here. Uh, anyway, when you sometimes grab a ledge, tr when you trigger the animation of grabbing the ledge, you can actually shoot in the middle of it. Yeah, yeah, so this is sometimes useful because you might get, you might be a little bit like prone to shoot because you are stationary. But remember, you can still shoot other people. Even if it looks very weird because... Uh, I think I have uh, a clip with it when I shoot my sniper and it just extends into the air and uh, shoots some random spot somewhere else. <laughs> Meanwhile, I have my hands on the ledge still. This looks really, really weird, but anyway, yeah, th you can you can shoot while grabbing on edges. Um, what else is that is uh, is important here? Uh, from, from those little quirks, uh, that's pretty much it. Oh yeah, the, there is also this, so you can, uh, yeah, slam cancel. It is also pretty useful. I do not personally use it that much, but you can cancel, you can slam, and then when you perform a roll. Uh, you actually can recover from this animation way sooner than you normally would. And what people use for use it use it for as for quick escape. So for example, if I were here, and if I were dueling somebody, I can immediately can I can immediately slam and get out of the fight. So this is really helpful escape mechanism. Um, so I'm yeah, this. Um, so the question is: Is there a difference between um, regular slams and heavy slams? Like when, when trying to perform the the melee, the slam cancel, basically, or not really? I think at this point there isn't. Uh, but you have to ask someone way more experienced. Um, I haven't seen experienced players use uh, slam that much because we are all all the time in the air. We are jumping off of the walls, so there is very rarely an occasion to slam somebody, except for the case that y you anticipate the slam and you slam the person that tries to slam you <laughs> basically so you can sometimes re read this um you can sometimes read this because for example when i am here and uh obenua is there right so i am shooting at him let's pretend i am shooting at him right he can slam onto me right and if i see that a player just jumps in towards me uh, then I can quickly slam the spot that I oh. assume he will land on and I can counter slam him. So this is something that you can use, but it, it's it's very rare that it, this happens and it's hard to predict for me. Uh, maybe someone is better than me at it, I do not deny it, but anyway, yeah. So, yeah, can I ask? My bow doesn't look like it has AOE on slam. It's like a direct hit. Oh, okay. okay. So, yeah, that's what I, that's what I've been testing. Um, so basically, um, 
I'm not sure if heavy slams are in the conclave, but I've been testing it as well. So basically, okay. if you let's say you regularly mash E, or in your case, since you're a controller, you slam downwards with the regular yeah. melee button, it should have the shockwave. But when I'm trying to do the heavy slam attack, it do, it doesn't do it with the with the shockwave, and then I'm able to cancel it a lot earlier. I don't know. Yeah. Just, just I think in PVE, I always. It's always a heavy slam. Yeah, yeah. But then it doesn't work. The, the heavy slam AoE radius shockwave thing isn't um, active or like... Yeah, but from other people's animations, I, I see the like the wind blowing out. I assume that's it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, so now, um, do you know anything about the mods? Let's get this out of the way now. Do you know how to mod, how, uh, what to do with them and so on, how to slap them and, and what to be aware of? What I want to basically tell you is that there are a couple mods that are essential there are a couple mods that are not essential but are good to have and the rest are basically inconsequential and they are pretty much useless. So the best mods that are there are the ones that are called Recuperate and Recover. So those two mods, uh, after the kill, they grant you a heal regeneration rate. Uh, for some period of time, but when you see this mod, there is a negative, so there is a trade-off, and this is main problem with those mods. Conclave mods have trade-offs pretty much every single time. There is one positive, one negative. Uh, this kind of reminds of I don't know uh, revens, but not really. Uh, you shouldn't be looking at them like that. Anyway, the negative. <laughs> The negative 25% from health orbs is actually pretty uh, damn important thing because what you may also do is put mods like Vanquished Prey and Calculated Victory, which what they what they do is they basically give you a the shield recharge delay minus 100% shield recharge delay. What does it mean? It means that your after the kill, your shield starts to regenerate instantly at the rank three because uh, rank uh, rank rank two, rank one, and rank zero are obviously 75%, 50, and 25% respectively. So, but again, uh, one is for pistol. One is for rifle. You think, oh, that is great. I killed so many people. But then if you if you slap all four of those mods, you suddenly cannot gain health from health orbs. So this is this is pretty much a trap for you. What I recommend is pick one. Pick one of those mods. Either it is recuperate, the health one. Either it is recuperate or recover. If you feel you, like you will kill more people with assault rifles, then go for recover. If you feel like, okay, I will first pop the shields, we will get to this. Uh, we will pop the shields with my uh, with my rifle, and then I will finish off with my pistol, let's say Lex Prime, then go for recuperate, because this will give you this last at uh, this last shot, this last finisher, it will let you regain your health. Uh, so, what is the next mod uh, that is pretty decent, pretty freaking decent? As I said, I mentioned uh, I mentioned weapon switching. One mod that supports it is Twitch. It lets you switch your weapons faster. It is, as you can see, this star, this, sorry, this diamond. It is. Uh, in both modes, it comes from PVE as well as uh, as well as PVP. So if you if you manage to get this mod from PVE, hey, that's great. You can use it in PVP. 
it is really good because it lets you holster, uh, it lets you sw swap weapons way faster. This one is for rifle. There is a pistol counterpart. Get both. Um, so this already tells you that hey, maybe this this recuperate isn't the bad option because I what I can do is I can slap twitch on my rifle. I can pop the shields. I will sw swap out my rifle faster. I will faster switch to my pistol and then I will get my kill faster a little bit. Uh, this ties to another mechanic which is shield gate which is in the which is in this mode. Uh, so for example if I am aiming at the humble wolf right now as you can see I kept doing the damage to him over and over again but at the some po at the certain point of course the shield gate blocked it off. This is also in PvE, but in PvE there is a slight um, uh, there is a slight quirk that for example 95% damage reduction is, rece is received by those mobs and only 5% of your uh, damage leaks into their health. Uh, of course you can s you can um, uh, you can skip this by shooting One enemy's head. So for example, if I now shoot Erika's head, couple bullets, and also even if uh, if shield gate triggered, I still was, uh, I still kept hitting his head and still look, the damage, uh, the damage to his health is, st is still here. Um, so this is, this is something that you can, uh, that you also should be wary of. So what do I do? I first pop the shield. Then at some point I cannot deal the damage. So I switch my weapon to my uh, to my uh, last hit kill weapon, uh, and then I finish him off with my pistol, equipped with recu recuperate. So that's the, uh, that's remain. mainly what people do. So yeah, right. There is another one that Three, goes along four. with this, and this is like all of those mods, like this recuperate, calculated victory thing, the Twitch thing, and the one that I w I am now uh, telling you, which is tactical, uh, tactical reload, and there is a pistol version, which is eject magazine. Uh, as you can see, those are plus magazine reloaded per second when holstered. So uh, those can be farmed from sentience in PvE. Um, however, that's, that's besides the point. What do I mean by that is that you can use recuperate, uh, you can use uh, like switch your, uh, you can start shooting a guy uh, with your primary, then switch your weapon, your weapon reloads. Meanwhile, you finish him off, you get your health back, and then you switch again, and where your weapon is reloaded. So you do not stop shooting like that. And this, the, this is like the trinity of very, very good uh, set of mods, and th this is why this philosophy is so strong. Uh, what you can do as well is you can increase your magazine by throwing in maximum capacity or the one that is for uh, for pistols which is full capacity uh, which will further boost this up because this is percentage reload per second if you have more magazine you will reload more per second uh, this is why this is really useful um, so th so th those are main things but there are way more mods than just that. Um, let's talk about mods that are basically rifle and pistol and all of this weapon oriented mods, not warframe oriented mods for now. So what we have, what we have else? Uh, we have other mods that are of course uh, dealing with this uh, with this hand with this weapon handling. So quality of life. Those are pretty much, uh, pretty much the ones like loose hatch, 
Uh, I personally do not use this uh with this reload speed because hey i got reload speed when i holster uh, when my weapon is holstered so this is pretty much a dead mod it only increases my weapon recoil um what else you can use a gold mod which is hydraulic gauge this reduces your magazine capacity but gives you reduced weight recoil it sometimes is useful uh, mainly for the weapons like let's say Zenith. Zenith is a good one. Uh, it will reduce uh, erraticness when you are shooting it. It will reduce uh, the shakiness a little bit. But it will reduce your magazine size. So be, aware, be wary of that. Um, there is one that is also of course for pistol one. And this is hydraulic barrel. Uh, this one reduces uh, the recoil. For pistol, but it's a, a lot less helpful with a lot bigger drawback. There are mods that deal with damage skewing. So, for example, you convert one damage type into another. So, one uh, one example of this is, let's say, what is your name? Compact uh, Comet Rounds. So, this will convert the damage into impact. This this thing actually touches. This is like a uh, yeah, I use capacity mods at, uh, as well, especially on Bratton Prime, because Bratton Prime has a nice fire rate and it also has pretty big magazine to start with, so it is really nice to use it. Uh, Bratton Prime also has no fall off, uh, Baza has fall off, but Baza has 40 rounds, so it also makes sense to use capacity mods on uh, on Baza. And then, as I said, tactical reload. You switch your weapon. Uh, you switch your weapon. You put away your Baza. It reloads. Uh, or dual Sestra. Uh, then you use eject magazine for that. Th this is the way to go. But anyway, let's start with. Uh, Let's start the topic of damage conversion. This is a pretty big one uh, because, believe it or not, you can get more damage than you actually would normally do. And this is something that uh, is a result of damage quantization that the game does in the background. I won't tell you much about this. If you want to play around with this, you can use the bot. Uh, you, you can use the bot uh, on the Discord. And for example, type in in the bot spam dot dot ttk braton and dash full. Uh, this will let you see the damage, the, the damage, the statistics of the weapon, but also robot testing will tell you all conversions. So this is the thing that you have to look at. But if you want just straight out, like best thing, best thing possible. Just go with what it says in best conversion, 5% impact, which means that it is unranked Comet Rounds. This is what you have to put on your Braton. And it also covers the variants too. So for example, you can do a dot dot ttk Braton Vandal dash full. Uh, and now here you go. There is Braton Vandal. Conversion is different because the damage profile of the weapon is different. It has more slash, it has more impact, it has incredibly little puncture damage. And in terms of Braton, like like regular Braton, it has pretty even distribution of the damage. So, oh yeah, this this is the way this is the word that we wanted to use. So here for the Braton Vandal, puncture is the way to go. Why puncture is the way to go, and why at twenty percent? Well. Uh, here it doesn't impact it very much. It just uh, it just happens to reduce shield damage a little bit. Uh, all of the damage is calculated against the Excalibur. But let's see at Stock Braton. There uh, there um, things go about differently because you can actually gain damage. You can reduce the amounts of bullets that you have to shoot at the target to kill it. Uh, and this is what the damage conversion, this is what quantization does. 
in the in the background so for example here i can see that there's 8 ttk uh, so now we are dealt with damage conversion um there are some other mods that are pretty much uh quirk let's say have an effect on something while something so for example i don't know gun glide uh, or let's say overview those are really situational mods um <laughs> they are pretty much uh, in normal situations they are useless but overview i noticed that it can help with Five, some weapons that four, have three, ridiculously one. high uh, zoom levels like for example latron frame like for example seer it can help those weapons when you aim right you will you will get this overview basically as as the mod says in for the pistol it is every gun so this is basically it other mods like the to, to take take away uh, from this section is that from this mod web from this weapon mods are there are three main main mods which is one that re regenerates your health pick one pick one do not choose every single one because you won't get any health from the health orbs remember that uh, so pick one pick either recuperate or pick either recover uh, then pick something that will reload your magazine while holstered and pick holster speed mod that's basically it um, and then the rest of the mods that is your choice just pick your poison um, for the warframe mods i was not certain to what to choose but the first uh, the first thing that every single player will tell you is no current leap so that's it uh that's no current leap it gives you mobility at the zero energy max uh, energy rate which means that you will pretty much not regenerate any energy uh while having this but you will get additional movement uh what is mobility mobility is basically how far and how fast you can bullet jump this is mobility this is not running speed like for example with mods for melee which is sword alone as you can see there are two statistics there is mobility which is your ability so you will pull it jump farther and there is sprint speed separately for the uh, in terms of melee mods there aren't uh, there aren't many of them uh me is pretty forgotten part of the uh, of the warframe in terms of pvp so there aren't many mods there are conversion mods and that's pretty much it and sword alone that's that's pretty much it uh in terms of uh in terms of warframe mods another mod uh, that is pretty decent is overcharged what it lets you to achieve is that every single time on respawn when you have some energy when you collected it uh, or when you let's say uh, happen to have some because you do not use no current leap uh, it let it converts automatically out of 50 energy into overshield so what i have is that normally on my gara there is 145 sheets what i will have is 100 and uh 95 shields with overcharged at maximum so this is pretty decent the 200 shields is pretty decent number it can stop uh, it can stop even vectis uh even stock vectis uh shot uh there's armored evade let's say which lets you uh dump your mobility but get but get the damage resistance while dodging there are even different mods, uh, mods that give you mobility but for example dump your health or dump your shields uh, there are mods that do the opposite uh, there are mods that for example on respawn give you energy and so on and so forth and there are of course arguments uh, which every single um, warframe well 
most of the warframes have it, have it, have them here, and they have like one argument or something. So that's pretty much it in terms of modding. Uh, even in terms can of. Can I ask? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Well, the only thing I didn't get is where the uh, where you see the different conditions, like the PVP exclusive mod. Okay, so. If you if you see an armored evade, uh, the name armored evade, do you see it? Uh, if you go to chat and if you go to, if you go and click on this blue item, on this blue uh, thing, and armor okay. evade, there is uh, there is kind of like a wing symbol near the armor yeah, evade. That means that it is a strictly PvP only mod. If I will, let's say, pick Twitch. This mod is dual. It can be used in PvP and in PvE because near the, uh, near the name it has a diamond symbol. And again, there is mods like Serration that doesn't have anything, that don't have anything. So serration doesn't have anything. Uh, it doesn't have the it doesn't have the diamond. It doesn't have the wings. So the it wings. means it so... is PVE only. Okay. Is that clear? <laughs> no wonder. Yeah. Okay. Super. Uh, anything more? Uh, any more questions? Any questions to what we have mentioned here, so far? You cannot use operator in here, <laughs> by the way, even though you can see uh, the, uh, the circle at the bottom, right? So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I hope you liked my explanation. I went over everything that I thought was important. I, I really can't imagine because th there is so much to, to be told because th this, this game mode is pretty different uh, from, from regular PvE, so normal rules don't really apply. Yeah, I actually like it. It's fun, especially the mods. Oh yeah, practice PvP models. <laughs> yeah, but that's the thing. How do I practice? How do you so practice? Yeah, I mean, uh, okay, yeah. so there is there is during uh, when I wanted to record a video for this session actually, but I didn't manage to. Um, I got into, uh, I, I got to play against some ba very basic player and I offered him that, okay, y you are not the best. You, you are very, very poor at this. Hey, let's play a game of Hunter and Prey and switch the roles every, every kill, every other kill. So basically what I pick is that, Hey, let's let, okay. So come here, come here. For example, and now Elicus uh, chase me, chase me, and I I will uh, I will try to get out, and you chase me and try to kill me. I won't shoot at you. One minute one remains. So this is a. So this is a good training because you get all the time in this world, all the time in this world. You can target this guy, you can you can learn his dodging patterns, you can tell him, hey, uh, can you, for example, uh, play this game? And he is, okay, uh, and can you go a little bit slower? Okay, I can go. And he will, for example, um, uh, he will, for example, uh, jump less, less time, less, 
or for example he won't do very fast strafes but he do longer strafes so this is the way to practice you can do this and then when you kill him uh, well, uh, then you switch the roles so he tries to kill you uh, many times we also look at new new people uh, profiles wow that was a nice a nice uh, quadruple kill many times when there is someone new and I am only one on in the lobby or I am with the player that I know so for example I and let's say I don't know uh, Rudolf he is also pretty uh, pretty old player here uh, anyway basically uh, anyone uh, else well uh, to some extent anyone else we look at new people profiles and we see hey he, if he's new if he doesn't like abuse cheese or something like that for example uh, what we do as well is that we go a little bit lighter and instead of let's say doing bursts uh, we do single shots with Braton to kind of stimulate to kind of stimulate that hey you have to dodge you have to dodge remember that uh, you are you are you are a little bit more a little bit too predictable so then what you can do is to start wall jump wall jumping what you can do is also to practice is to practice parkour in pve it doesn't cost you anything um so yeah th this is also pretty decent uh, to start to to start incorporating some of the parkour into pve so for example i don't know let's say i'm jumping off of this pillar into the door out of the door uh, then i jump upwards hey there is nothing here so uh, i will latch onto this wall maybe into this door and then hey th this is how you should try to practice your movement if you want to improve your movement if you improve your aim specifically uh, you can set up oh, with yeah. people here from from the discord to say to them hey i want to improve my aim can you be my training buddy uh, most of the time nobody will uh, will answer properly because um, they will not have the time uh, some will be busy uh, some will notice that hey you are too too low i i need some better training partner than you but there will be i i am certain that there will be some people that will be willing to help you will be willing to uh, spend some time with you and then just dodge and you will have all the time in the world even if you will kill this will not be even hunter and prey like switching on and off you will have all the time in the world to, to just train on them there are also applications as i mentioned there is kovacs kovac 2.0 uh, which is a training aim training application Humble Wolf, you made one mistake. You made one mistake now. Yeah. What was that? That was actually a pretty good situation to to uh, to cover. What you did right now is that you jumped in front of me, but like straight into me, right? So you are not performing any dodge during this. And what you do is that I don't even need to move my mouse to hit you i need to only what i only need to do is to keep my reticle on you what is even worse is that relative to me your hitbox gets bigger so i have even easier time to move uh, to i have even easier time to aim at you i can even sell some headshots into you so this is very bad do not do this uh i I'm not the best at avoiding this problem because many times in the heat of battle uh, when you bullet jump away when you bullet jump away into 
uh, into some room, you will still bullet jump into someone, or 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 at very at the very least, you will move relatively slowly uh, against someone. So so uh, there is uh, sometimes very little that you can do, but if you are in 1v1, try to avoid it at all costs. Because this will save you... Uh, because this will save you some some, uh, some HP. And possibly you will be able to deal some damage during this. I actually hate Lex because of its slow fire rate. I wasn't used to Lex at first, but I just kind of like, I, I don't know, I kind of vibe with it after some point. Okay, so I am now running uh, the Kovac on my screen. This is what it basically looks like. So what we have here comes down to scenarios. So in this scenario, you have bots, bots that perform a certain dodge pattern, like let's say left, right, left, right, or uh, they might be, I don't know, they can vary in size. They can help. They can have some health, or they can be one shot. Uh, they can be farther away or closer. They can be really fast moving or really slow moving. Um, so there are multitude of different things. And during the development of this program, there are many things that you can that uh, that emerged. So, for example, those scenarios that. As you, as you, as I mentioned, that train this vertical skills, so you can uh, patch this hole in your aiming, uh, in your aiming portfolio, let's say, because you do not have any idea how to aim, like vertically, like move up, move mouse up and down. Maybe you have troubles with something like, let's say. You come from very high sensitivity, and you need to start moving your arm finally because uh, you move from high sensitivity into low sensitivity. Uh, so there are scenarios that can a little bit help you with that. Um, what I have uh, here is kind of like a set of playlists because those scenarios can be uh, arranged into playlists that you can uh, play through them and then uh, improve in some of the scenarios. So, for example, let's say I will pick uh, the scenario that is called air. This is very hard scenario. I don't recommend this at start, uh, but this is how it looks like. So, this is pretty much. This is pretty much how it looks like. So. In terms of, uh, in terms of what does it, uh, what does it give you, um, is that it can uh, th those bots are flying, so that is basically the aim of of this of air, but uh, they have a certain health thresholds, and when you when you kill them, another bot uh, appears. That has a different strafe pattern. That has a, that is further away or closer, and all of this gets harder and harder and harder progressively. Um, and then the finish of this is a bot called UFO, which teleports as well. It has very fast pattern, and also it teleports. It is incredibly challenging, incredibly tiring. Um, Wow, 
about this one took a lot of time and that's basically it uh, this one uh, this one this scenario this error is focused on tracking so for so I am given a rifle that is continuously uh, continuously shooting and then the only need you uh, the only thing that you need to focus is to press and hold your left mouse button and track the target as best as you can and repeating the scenario over and over again will help you uh, with with this thing of course the 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 base version of this scenario is is bad um, and there are scenarios that for example starts to focus on a, a specific bot so the one that is easier the one that is fast for example if you want to go fast the, if you want to be better at reading fast strafes then hey this is this is the way to go but not at the beginning um, another thing is click timing so uh, something that I told you about this uh, let's say things with uh, shooting your semi-automatic rifles so that you can you that you have to click repeatedly there are scenarios what that is let, let's say one wall six targets uh, and in this scenario you are given a wall with six targets that are very small and you have to keep being very very precise uh, so What I try to do here is to first be as smooth as possible and then take my time with, uh, with aiming. Of course, what I can do is make the first flick, so like the initial flick that will take me very, very close to the target. I can make it very fast, but then this last correction it really needs to be like fine-tuned so really take your time and this is why uh, and this is how you can build this up slowly build up this uh, the skill of going faster and faster and faster and then you will get better and you will start to see that you will actually land far closer to the target you will for example, sometimes you don't even need to uh, do this micro correction. So how does it even relate to the game? First of all, train the mouse feel, get the mouse feel, uh, get get the hang of what you need to do and how do you need to do it. And then what you what you do in the game, you can apply other factors because what this third party application does is that it isolates you from every single thing that Warframe provides so that you don't need to uh, think about loadouts you need to you don't need to think about mods you don't need to think about movement uh, you need to f you don't need to think about map layouts different things like uh, let's say oh where is my ammo oh where is my health where what is this it is great at isolating this and this is why those uh, uh, those those uh, apps are successful of course what you uh, what you won't have with those third party applications is for example the uh, different let's say 30 seconds remain let's say you won't have many different um, weapon options uh, that as well but you won't have <laughs> you won't have basically what Three, I told you, so you two, won't have movement, one. you won't have anything. Why, do, why is this a problem and a blessing? A problem is that uh, a blessing is that, of course, you will, you do get all of this. Uh, you know, you concentrate on aiming, blah blah blah. But you do not, you do, you can't even train 
and you don't see the impact of your movement in this third application, uh, third party application. You do not see the, uh, uh, you do not have, of course, the damage profile, the, the damage profiles, uh, the even like recoil profiles, it is not customized. Uh, to, to do this, this and thus um, what people say is that victory. you need to have uh, some certain uh, some sort of a balance so for example Three, you do four, half an hour uh, of, of the aim trainer and half an hour of the game uh, some people actually say uh, that it is it needs to be like a triple. Your your game time needs to be a triple of what you aim train in those third party applications. And this is because all of those factors. So for example, the, like I said, that you Three, do not need, uh, that you don't know maps, don't know uh, about modding, don't know anything. You cannot set this up. You cannot set this up how uh, different players will dodge. You do not have bullet jumps. Uh, you do not have anything basically in this in this free party application so this is why um, you cannot rely on this 100 percent hey come someone invites me back i need to change my leader. you are at the head of the pack okay yeah, boss. How do you how do you earn um, PVP specific mods? Where do you earn? Where do you gain? Yeah. Uh, you go to a relay, and then you press escape and fast travel. While you are in the relay, you press escape. You fast travel to guy called Teshin. Okay, Teshin. Uh, and he will have two options. He will have one which is steel puff, and one which is uh, and one which is conclave. And this is how you get, get the mods. Of course, some of them are gated by the rank that you are in, uh, but the ones that are not gated. Uh, even some of those that are gated, for example, those one that we got clip uh, per second. Uh, those can be... Uh... Oh, that was a good dodge. That was a good dodge. Uh, can someone invite me? Okay. I can. Where do you check your standing? PVP standing. Standings? Uh, you can check them in your profile. Uh, check them in your profile, and there are syndicates. And when you scroll down, there is conclave. You can also access the syndicate. Um, that that syndicate console on the left side of your navigation so you can also use that to like uh, fast travel towards session from your orbiter basically um, you can also check your standing um how much conclave standing you have what is your current rank that sort of thing I haven't gotten the invites. Okay, I will send you in a moment. Okay, it says received invitation. Yeah. I got. Um, tell me what is the lag because I am the host. No, I I am coming in now.
Okay, two more keeps or not? Or we shoot each other right now. <laughs> Okay, let's shoot them because I see everyone shoots. Everyone pew pew. Everyone pew pew. Oh, someone was killed. Oh, and then recuperate triggered. If you don't want to give someone a kill, you can actually slam into the void. That is like a freaking legit strategy. That, or you slam too far into the void, and then you essentially fall eternally until you respawn without dying. Oh, I what actually... The... <laughs> what the... Is that a thing? Hey. Like, for example, um, let's say you slam into this particular part of the void, you, you instantly die. But, it, but then if you, like, if you slam too far out of this kill zone void, void thing, you end up just keep, you just keep falling until you eventually spawn back in at a random place on the map. But you don't die. It sometimes happens when you either get when you accidentally launch yourself towards far distances or you for example get teleport base. It's oblivion. Wow, you are really far away. Okay, let's do this duel. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this duel. Holy crap. Wait, did you actually fall? <laughs> Oh my god, I had killed the Oxy step. But I think you fall fallen. I ran out of ammo, okay. That was funny. Uh, there's this thing that when you land from a high place, you slam into the ground and your animation can stop you from moving for a few seconds. Is there a way to avoid that? Uh, before you land, you crouch, so... You, when you are aim gliding and you and you want to perform a kick, uh, you can actually if you if you try to like fall from very high, you can actually slide, perform a slide and you uh, land softly. You do not hard hard fall into the ground. You do not recover. Do you mean uh, do, do yeah, you yeah. mean this? Yeah, I see it now. Yeah. Yeah, just so. gravity stops it. Yeah. Yeah, so this is this is pretty neat way to 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 land and pretty much everyone uses this. Uses this or for example, if you are near the wall you can uh, wall jump sometimes. Jesus, how did you guys get out there? What? That's a little too much control. 30 seconds remain. I'm guessing this is the pros only map. Falling down like I survived! <laughs> oh my god.
god, I survived that. I actually got out. What is the most popular map? I guess for competitive. Um. Uh, people generally like bunker. Um, they do not like compound. I think compound. They do not like canyon settlement. It is really rare. They like Cephalon Citadel. So, I guess Cephalon Citadel, um, bunker. Uh, what else? Really core. Uh, like the re regular core, core, not this one that appears out of nowhere and it pretty much is one of them. Um, so core, for an enemy who, like the Tenno, this one that we uh, that we just played, bunker and one more maybe. Compound is scum. Those grass gives me so much FPS drops. In the oh yeah, area. this is actually also, huh. I think, here. Wait, Elikos, how come I could kill you so many times on compound, and now I'm barely even dropping? Oh. Okay, so basically, I'm not really good with bows. Okay. I've been using bows since day one. You guys oh, yeah. forced me to switch to an AR. <laughs> Bow tail doesn't seem like a good weapon. You can't uh, kill someone in a single play. Unless headshot. It happens. I mean, truthfully, when I truthfully like, how would I how would I call my experience at the conclave apprentice level? So basically, I, I the mods themselves aren't new to me, but there are some like new informations I picked up during the session. Like for example, oh, those. The minus, what is it? The health gain from health orbs thing. I did not know that, that those things stack. So oh, that's yeah, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. This stack. So you get so those are when you have two of them, it's like 15 health, not 30. Oh wow, I got raped. Who's whose <laughs> ability is this flushing thing? Um, that's Excalibur's second, I believe. Yeah, radial blind, it's like a flashbang. I, mean, I guess it's only in PvP where it's actually good. <laughs> it, it's actually pretty useful as oh, a survival. Oh, no, no, no. I won't be dying like that. No, no, no. Yeah, I, I changed what so, uh, I actually think some, some uh, mechanics of the game come out. Like the mods that we. In PvE mods are just like cheats. What the hell? Let me shoot you. What like uh, the idea of that mod that lets you uh, reload or hold stuff faster? I mean, definitely I'm going to get down. I don't like 
капец. Do you have that mod active now? For faster uh, weapon. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Mod that makes you go faster? Wait, in Conclave or like in PvP? No, no. Mod that makes you uh, switch weapon. You mean Twitch? Like... Yeah, oh, okay. Because I think it's really, really. Yeah, those are really good mods though. The holster speed mods, they're, those are really important. Are you kidding me? That's combo, for God's sake. I cannot yes. get you, oh my god. <laughs> Jesus, well then now, if you had killed me, I swear to God, I would have quit. There's this guy, first ever, uh, killed match I watched on YouTube, like a cat, kind of skin, black with red, long red ears, tail, and he's just going around with, uh, some of them. Never had. What was the balance for melee? Conflict? How are the balance? Did they all do the same thing as that. Oops. I shouldn't have walked right in front of that. The balance for melee weapons. I, I, if you were to ever describe how melee is used in Conclave, it's gonna be either for two things. One is for for pushing your momentum, basically. You use your melee to make you go faster, move around the map faster. And then there's also the part where, oh, you spin. <laughs> or you do some, like, you do that um, melee attack, tap forward type of thing for a sudden, bur for a sudden burst of movement. But mostly, yeah, melee is used for movement. Can I very And uh, like two swords, uh, someone's using uh, those dual blades. That's Deoxia. They look very. Like he lets you come in close. Nyoro, um, they removed the, uh, what is it called? That stuttering loading thing whenever you change loadouts? I think they did. Alright, that's really cool. Very progress D. Now if you just fix everything else. Uh, Wait, I, I, thought, I thought DE doesn't of this. Very rare. Like, extremely rare. Oh, what? Hmm. Of course, Grand is actually quite useful. One minute remains. Man, all to the conquer. What a champ. Thirty seconds remain. Who are you? Yeah, no, and I did the uh, did the mistake that I was. Five, five, four, four, three, four, 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 four,
I think I can go well, for that one was more. pretty equal match, I would say. Yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> last one, and we wrap things up or not? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Sure, sure. Okay, then. Sounds good. Um, try to do something with your microphone because you uh, you move a lot and it sounds like and it seems like uh, it's like your mic rubs on some kind of surface and then it picks up that that noise. Oh yeah, yeah that's probably it. Okay, that was... Is there still no more? That was funny. Oh man. Oh, was that was that the alt fire? Yeah, I I killed you with alt fire, but I first headshotted with you with slug, <laughs> the slug mode. Uh, but you didn't die. You did not actually die. Yeah, it makes me want to use the euphonia. The Euphonia Prime does not have a regular version, right? It's just a Prime. Yeah, this is this is kind of stupid, but yes, this is this is the reality we live in. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, that hit. Stay in play. Oh. Wow. God damn it. <laughs> I actually killed you. I think you killed me first before I got to you, right? Um Let's go. I just noticed that some of some of the pillars in this room, you aren't able to like bullet jump or like um, latch onto them, like these guys right here. Feels weird. Oh yeah, this is. Uh, I don't know what causes it. Uh, I think it is just poorly coded. Oh wait, wait, this is no. That's an fault right there. <laughs> oh. I perished. Okay, tried my best. <laughs> It isn't working. Uh, is there any, like... 
uh, difference between controller and mouse in this game. I mean, in most games, they say PC has the advantage, sorry, mouse. I don't know if I it's think, okay in Okay, so basically, if I remember correctly, when it comes to controller movement, or rather con controller conclave in general, um, if you were to pair it, like, the, the play styles and the ethics and the, the no, 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 like, the culture huh. of how Conclave is played from controller to PC are somewhat different. Like, yeah, sure, you can, you can perform these really wacky, um, really fast movements on controller. You can do the same on PC. Like, on the movement side, they're pretty on par. But then on the okay. aiming side, yeah, that's that's where they get really. Oh, sorry, I stole that. What was that? Yeah, no worries, you will die. <laughs> I will perish. Perish. Hi, <laughs> <laughs> happy Santa Claus day. I actually have this spear mean side. You know, yes, there are the different. Ball. There are some really weird uh, people here. They, for example, demand that, hey, you turn your back, there is your MIDI. It should be able to block. <laughs> you know, there, there are some theories about this as well. Oh, wow, there is way. Kill me. The only advantage here is Mag's ability. How did I miss that? The only thing I have for you. Yes. Oh yeah, boy. Got yeah, you first. Wait, this is a glass wall, what? Yes, oh, this, this is, is a glass. glass wall. I never noticed, okay. These guys are really low. Yeah, what's energy surge? We never talked about it. Energy surge doubles the energy got up, obtained from energy orbs. So instead of 25, you get 50. It happens at the, like the last quarter of the match, right? So like 2, point, 2 minutes and 30 seconds, right? Yes, but not only. If a, if a person that is first place has uh, has about five oro left to get. Then it also happens. Oh wait, wait! It's that her ability. I see. Wow! I actually am out of ammo now. How long does Zephyr's ability last? What the hell? <laughs> it lasts like... Uh, I think it is scaled by... Uh, it, it just drains your energy, you know? Nice dodges, nice dodges, but... Try to... Oh yeah, oh yes, this, this, you know? You see? The first ability in pairs so it means that i cannot jump uh, and i cannot do uh, which means that also i cannot bullet jump uh, war jump and all of these things so this is really nice it does not prevent the aim grade however oh, oh, oh i'm not stepping in there yeah big brain gaming this loss has illuminated your we perished in the tornadoes okay well, right, okay, Thank so you. thanks for the sessions. So, uh, to wrap up, Match loss. Uh, remember what I said about aiming, um, about this uh, different styles. Like you can do the same. Uh, you can sometimes do the same thing by just straight out moving your warframe. Oh, 
uh, to the left, let's say, instead of moving your mouse to the left. You can combine those things. There isn't an easy answer to this, uh, to this whole thing. Of course, mainly you will be able to, uh, mainly well, your, your mouse movement uh, will be to counteract how you fly, uh, how, you, how you aim glide, uh, how you, for example, I don't know, just pick any situations that you like. Uh, most of the time, mo your mouse movement will just try, will just try to counteract what happens on the screen. Uh, but anyway, uh, about mods like this Trinity uh, of mods, so uh, the ones that reload magazine while holstered. Uh, the ones that switch your weapons quicker and the ones that, for example, um, give you more health, uh, increase your magazine size so that you can get more out of the percentage, uh, out of the percentage reload. Uh, from the, uh, from the straight up, like playing and, and uh, recognizing situation, then there is this concept about uh, having cold zones and hot zones in this in this matchup, uh, try to find out what are the different spots on the map for for like ammunition, for like uh, energy, health. You can boot up into solo mode and just walk uh, walk uh, everywhere that you want. In solo mode, there is also one useful bug. Useful bug. Imagine this. Um, that you can skip voting by pressing spacebar and you can basically have another go of the same map that you already selected. I used it in Lunaro when I wanted to learn uh, certain specific shots, let's say, on the very easy map uh, that is with that one straight goal. But also when you want to keep, for example, the map that it has very specific uh, I don't know, in, in Conclave here, in, in uh, Annihilations, you might want to, let's say, look at, posi look at possible routes of escape uh, in certain situations that you maybe didn't realize they exist, or something like that. I don't know, just, just try to... Um, just one, one last thing, just try to apply what I said to you here uh, to the real match so so th with this accent let's finish um, i hope you liked it and see you again hopefully yes thank you very much it was great and remember to have fun of course oh yeah oh i think the ox step has been kicked. Yeah. That is actually pretty unfortunate. This wouldn't have worked what you say because I am out of your rank and you if you say that you are at record conditioning then I wouldn't be able to join or I would be kicked. Now I <laughs> wave my right hand when I say left and my left hand when I say right in front of myself so I'm stupid. Oh my god, so many problems, so many problems uh, during this session. Even if you are very fast... Okay, that was unfair. That was unfair. Okay, you die. You die. Where are you? Okay. Okay, fun is over. Okay, let me let me draw out the big gun. Oh my target escaped. That is unacceptable. Where are you? Okay, I found a new one. Okay, now you are here. Come here. Okay, that is okay, let me draw my pistol. No. No, you are not escaping. <laughs> okay. You wanted to melee me. 
how it feels to respawn at 550k. My explanation does not care about ping issues. Uh, yeah, what's the name of that best player mentioned of course? And how does he check? You are uh, playing someone as the best. I'm wondering how he trained. Oh, Warden. Warden. Yeah, he. he it was a. a I, I don't know. I think he was gifted. Oh. I think he was gifted. Let's start. Oh, I got Banshee. Okay. You got Warden on. You got Warden on. <laughs> Dude, you got Warden. This is, this is how you get Warden. How to Warden? Use projectile weapons and then ult the conflict. Like, the main reason why he became the, the best the god conflict player, right? It's because yeah. of, his, of his genius ult placements, right? Yes, yes, basically. This is the first like trait of this guy. He has he has many traits, but this is the main one. <laughs> like the OG. Oh man, this is this is the best. He also li likes to tease works. other people with with being like lag makers. Of course, everyone else is lag maker. Uh, and then what else he has? Like how oh, I I can't remember. This is this is the lo the list goes on and on. Can you write his name on the chat so I check out the I mean, well, yeah, yeah, more than I suspect I've seen one of his games. Yeah, hey, I've got a question. So what exactly yep. is a lag maker? Lag maker? The ones that... Yeah. The one that just slaps lag pedal to the metal. Man, that is the only true answer. And only Wardenom is permitted to use this word, so do not overuse this. <laughs> okay. <laughs> do not overuse it. And we are all, we are all basically luck makers. We are all luck makers. The only true, the, the only god of Conclave is Wardenom, remember this. If someone, if someone asks you, and this is a question for one million dollars, who is the best player of Conclave, of entire Conclave, ever, ever, it's Wardenum, it's Wardenum, and we are all luck makers. What makes him the best? What weapon does he use? Oh man, you don't know him, he's so good, man. Especially his sold out of Mag and Gram. And, and Tetra, Dada and Tetra, Tetra Mag, Tetra Mag and Gram. This is, this is the best loadout. Trust me, this, there is no, no better loadout. Oh. Oh man, 